Hi class, happy Sunday. This is me again, just to share with you what um, you could do in terms of navigating through our page. You probably have figured it out, but I thought I would share that video with you just in case. So you would go to our shell and then it would automatically get you to this home page and you're familiar with the welcome message, my picture, the welcome video that I shared with you. And there's this new link added that says week two active reading. So you would click on that and you will notice that it has a really uh, small note uh, right underneath the uh, banner that I have created for active, I'm sorry, for week number two active reading. What it says here is that you have to read first the whole page to get a sense of what you need to do for each of the activities that I have set up for this um, week's activities. Um, so what I would need you to do is first read all of this first and then once you got a sense of what you're supposed to do then go back and follow the instructions and do each of the activities and take your time. Um, for instance, you could see there's a free write activity where you have to answer these specific questions. You have to do that free write activity. I'm not checking whether or not you did it, but I, you need to do that because then you would have to share observations. And actually before that, you would have to share some sort of list. I'm not giving it away. You have to read first on our Google document. Here's a Google document. Now, when you open this Google document that is called Class Notes and Active Reading, um, then there are some directions. But again, you cannot just jump into directions after you have, without, I'm sorry, without reading this. So I think it's important that you follow directions. Here on this document, you would need to type, for instance, the list, your list of active reading steps. Um, you could add as many as you can. So for instance, I would say, um, I would type in my name here because you know I wanna make sure that I get points. And then start sharing first step, second step, and you could add as many as you can. Don't worry if you um, keep adding, it will just adjust, the table will adjust as my, um, depending on how much you type. Some of you may, may have longer um, sentences, which is totally fine. Some of you will have short sentences. Don't worry about it. The point is that you share your own steps. For the next part of the activity, it's the same thing. You have to read what it says here under observations, answer the questions. You have to make sure your answers are at least 10 sentences. That means at least 10 sentences, minimum 10 sentences. You can write as much as you can. And then each of you have, each of you has your own space, your own um, cell and uh, type in your name and then your answer to these questions about the observations. Then the next activity is very similar to this one where you reflect on a specific um, on a specific reading and again you have to go back and really you know follow the activities so that way you can be uh, so that way you can understand what is it that you need to do um, and that way you can answer the questions here and the same thing just type in your name and then answer these questions an important point that I actually share at the end here, do not skip any of these activities because they are part of the homework and participation points. So there's no need for you to respond to another person on these activities. This is just for us as a class to make sure that we come up with points. We will do that for any other type of conversations, um, questions, critical thinking questions, rhetorical questions. And these notes are basically going to help you um, brainstorm 
and get ready for the type of essays, the type of writing projects that you will have to write for this class. So I think this is this is an important um, activity as a whole, just to make sure that you understand why we're doing this. This is about active reading, but there will be other topics that we can talk about here. Let me know if you have questions and I will see you online. Happy Sunday.